Hi, and welcome to Twitter for Phys Ed 101 by iPhysEd.com. Today we're going to look at third-party apps and how you can make use of them to make your Twitter experience even better. So what we're going to look at today is TweetDeck, something that I've been using for a little while now, um, and it really helps me to stay on top of all of my tweeting, and I use it for PE chat, and basically it just allows me to see everything in one space. So the first thing you need to do really is just to go and uh, download it. You can also get it for the Chrome app. I haven't tried it like this, but I have. I do have it downloaded for my for my computer. Um, so once you download it, it'll go. It'll take you through a sign up process, and once you sign up, it'll look something a little bit like this. Now the advantages of TweetDeck is that you can have lots of different columns at once, which um, will help you to separate your information for you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add a column. Okay, the first column I'd suggest on adding would be timeline. Okay, this will show you all of the tweets of the people that you are following. Okay, so I'm going to add that one in there right now, and as you can see, it's added my timeline, showing all of the tweets from people that I've that I've followed. Okay, the next column I would add, I would add would be interactions. Interactions are things, will show you things like when people have followed you, when somebody's mentioned you in a tweet, when somebody has retweeted something you've said. Okay, you can see here that this Banjarid followed me, Daniel Mann followed me. Okay, you can also see that Jill Adams mentioned me, Darren Leslie retweeted. So this is all the interactions between you and other people on Twitter. The next one I would add would be mentions. Okay. You don't have to add mentions because obviously it's seen in interactions as well, but I, I like to see it here because it just gives me an idea of when people are communicating with ju just with me. You can also add in messages or inbox, okay? Both of them are, are the same. Messages will show you all of the private or direct messages that people are going to send to you. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one now just so that we have a bit more space. Um, the advantage of TweetDeck is for things like PE chat. Okay, if you just type into the search bar here, hashtag PE chat, it will give me a list of all of the tweets that have taken place with the hashtag PE chat. Now, if I add that column, anytime anybody adds a a tweet um, with the PE chat hashtag, it will show up here. So on a Monday at 7 p.m., when you're taking part in PE chat, if you have this column open, you'll be able to really just focus on that column and not get confused by all of the other things that are going on. So what I normally do is when PE chat's on, if I click edit, I can add these arrows and I can take it across to the left so that it's in my front here. Now, for that hour while PE chat's happening, I can see all of the tweets that are coming in. I can respond, I can reply. How to tweet. Okay, up here, if we click on this, will give us our tweet box and again we can just type in here okay I am using tweet deck to make my tweeting easier okay can add a hashtag tweet deck can add a a person there as well okay tweet that out and you can see that it's popped up there alright again it's just a really easy user-friendly interface that I think makes it a lot easier to follow people on Twitter, it makes it easy to stay on top of your replies, your mentions, um, to see who's following you, reply to people. Okay, if I want to reply to somebody, all I need to do is click on this one here. It will give me an option to reply to that tweet. I can retweet. I can favorite. If I favorite things as well, I can add a favorites column Okay, by clicking on that one. And it will show me all the tweets that I've favorited so I can come back and look at them at a later date. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you. This is the first part of uh, Twitter for Phys Ed 101 by iPhysEd.com. Stay tuned for more uh, videos showing you how to use Twitter for your Phys Ed program and building a professional learning network.